what's going on we're home now just got back from iCast if y'all don't know we just had a big tournament on the St. Lawrence River Bassmaster Elite Series event and I caught my PB smallmouth so I've caught my PB largemouth a 10-1 on St. John's my very first Bassmaster Elite Series event and I just caught my PB smallmouth on the St. Lawrence River Lake Ontario and it was a daggum bigger but you gotta watch the videos to see exactly how big it was but it was my PB smallmouth so it's gonna be a really cool video one that i'm going to rewatch over and over just to relive that memory but anyways reason we're starting off the video with this type of intro shop carl's is turning 10 years old here in the next few days and they are doing tons of sales deals giveaway y'all know if y'all are a shop carl's member they take care of y'all big time on you know saving money shipping expedite stuff all the customer service deals if you become a carl's member it's a ton of benefits to it but this week in particular they're doing they're giving away rods with like $150 purchases. They're doing a, a bundle that's normally $100 that you can get all this stuff for $40. They're doing grab bags if you spend $50, all kinds of stuff like that because Shop Carl's is turning 10 years old. So, really cool. I'll leave a link down below to the 10-year anniversary sale. Now, let's go watch some big old smallmouth. Day 1 St. Lawrence River starts here in about 46 minutes. So, we're boat number 44 today, got the extra hour to fish on the back end, so 30 minute flights, checking at 4 o'clock. It's going to be kind of a grinder day for me, I think, as far as catching the quality you need to catch. Had some decent days in practice, some bad days in practice, but you got to catch that 3.5 to 4 pound mark fish, 5 of them, to get paid here. You got to catch them 5 pounders to, to win here, so a lot of hype going on this week. People predict it's going to take 100 pounds. Personally, I think that's about four or five pounds too high i'm gonna take that 95 pound mark will be really really close in my opinion but it definitely could take 100 pounds here those there's tons of five pounders in this place if you could figure out how to generate those bites and kind of go something a little bit different where they're sitting up it's possible somebody can catch 100 pounds here but i still think it's gonna be a little bit high that doesn't mean that's not gonna take a lot of weight though and we're trying to catch a lot of big ones here you know it's it's not a place where you go out there and you grind out a limit you need to be catching them here and you be catching big ones here to get paid so looking forward to today we're going to do something i really like to do and that's uh i scope them sight fish for them a little bit and that's you know kind of the game plan we're going to drop on some cast to some and then cast some that are that dang deep so i'm kind of mix up today jump around conditions are different so i'm anticipating having to adjust a little bit from practice and perhaps we had a good bit of wind we had wind blowing the right way too a lot of people caught them super good in practice in the river and in the lakes but the wind was blowing with the current when the wind blows with the current then big ones seem to bite just a little bit better so i'm anticipating it being a little bit different a hair tougher today but it's gonna be a little bit easier you'll be a little more efficient casting to them and seeing them and stuff like that so the fishing you can be a little more efficient personally but the fish are going to be a little bit less aggressive, especially those big ones. At least that's my opinion. So, got to get out there and catch us at least 20, stay in contention. Good. Oh, nice. 
beauty. Oh yeah. I 
biggest one so far. Yeah, he's a good one. I think sometimes they don't realize they've been hooked. I'm sitting there, they're always the size. Oh, yeah? Every time. I don't know if I should keep this one, but... Keep them all have 17, so it's yep. hard to throw them back. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it. There you go. There you go. 
big, big. Big old big, big, big dude. Yes, sir, baby. Oh, is that a five? It's gotta be. That's a giant. There. <laughs> Give me a little bit. Good job. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Dude, they, were there, too. they were just laid across the bottom like no kidding. Like five of them. <laughs> Six fifty-six. This guy's at twenty-one and a half. That's awesome. Oh my, that's the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. Which is I don't, it really? I don't fish for them a lot. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. My biggest is five and a half. That's a, that's six. It's kind of a grind. Got lucky and caught one real big one, but for the most part, it was a mega grind out there. Didn't I caught? I got a lot of bites, but as far as catching good ones, I only caught eight or nine good ones and lost a few. But you know, just it was a grind to catch a good one. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Had a super second place finish at the Bassmaster Classic from Alabama. Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Five fifth here today for Kyle Welcher. No ox in the car. Round round bumping that first blueprint on this. Five fish here today, 22 pounds and an ounce. He moves into 21st place. Says he's got a big one in the way. Let's have a look at that fish. Boom, shaka laka, shoot, 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 dying fast. You ain't gotta ask where that come from. Five fish here today needs to be better than six pounds, six nine to tie. I'm team cap. Six pounds, 12 ounces, a brand new Phoenix boat. Big pass later, another shot him tomorrow. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Everybody can tell it. I know it's about to start raining, so I'm going to get up here, but I'm super forward to going back out there and chasing another one of those. Go get it done tomorrow. We'll see you back here.